Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. What is going on here, you might think? You saw the JPEG, the video image. Well, two things today. First, I'm here back at the haunted forest where there is definitely something really special going on here. I got some trail cams that I'm working with here. So that is one thing, but also a very special news for all of you who has followed us for several years. Just let me get further into the forest here and I'll, I'll tell you all about it. A lot of wind here. I'm very excited today, guys. A lot of you have followed our channel for many, many years and quite a lot of you have seen my daughter, Bunker Buster Girl, out here exploring and finding and sharing history in a very special way. Now, Bunker Buster Girl is a grown girl young woman she has evolved from being a tiny tiny little explorer to now have done her education she has fulfilled her dream to get her masters at the university and now she is ready to give herself half a year of going out exploring and sharing with all of you guys yes you asked for it Bunker Buster Girl has now released today. She's going to release her YouTube channel. And that is something that I'm so proud of. And I cannot tell you how much I look forward to see what she's going to share with the world. Just as this forest has piqued our curiosity and we have shared it with you and we'll share more as well. Bunker Buster Girl is so curious about the world and she set herself, as I said, a goal to go out for half a year and share her experiences with you and see if YouTube could be something that she would really like to kind of grow into and expand onto because she's so, so, so good at sharing what she does. And I'm looking so much forward to that. Nevertheless, um, she has told me that she wanted to invite all of you guys who has followed her for many years here on this channel. And she said that I needed to show you this little tiny promotional video here. Are you guys ready for an adventure? This is the Czechoslovakian tank turret. Don't be afraid to just try something on your own. Is a Walter P PK pistol round. the emergency exit. Explore of this tank gun turret bunker. Here you can see a machine gun position that is still here. Believe me, guys, you will not be sorrow. I would be honored as a father if you would pay her a visit. And uh, I'll put a link in the video description here where it says more. Down there, you can click that. You can see her channel. Just click that, find her explores and Boy, oh boy, I'm just so much looking forward to all of the material that she's gonna share with us. It is actually a huge honor for me to know that my daughter is, is kind of going to be out there sharing her experiences in her world. And it might have been because of she's inspired by all of you guys. She's been inspired by what we have done together earlier 
during the years of history hunting, World War II material, all of that. She's going to take that with her and integrate it into her stuff. And also she has got so much knowledge about World War II history and she will definitely share that in her way. And that is something I'm so, so honored to know that you out there, maybe me and Bunker Buster Girl in the Eagle Eyes has kind of inspired us together to do this and now she's inspired herself to do this. I'm just so thrilled. So please, if you'd like to, check out her videos. As I said, subscribe to her and just help her along the way. Her first target is to get those first thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which is kind of the... Uh, Thing that YouTube says you have to have to be monetized and when she's monetized she would be able to support herself going out there and just doing her stuff and sharing with the world and oh my goodness I just cannot wait to see that so feel free if you want to check that out now I'm gonna see what is going on here there is something where is that camera just want to fill you in quite quickly here. A few years ago, I found this little area in a forest. It's kind of like a German trench and battle station area in a way. And what I found there are many, many traces of some kind of war activity going on. I've definitely found pieces of artifacts. I found a uh, machine gun um, MG box for the belts for the MG 34 and 42s. I found a barbed wire cutting tool. I found a bayonet, I found a helmet actually, and different kind of munition laying around, the artillery shell, all of that is here. Nevertheless, this place spooked me out many times because of what happened when I was there. And uh, when I found the helmet here in that dugout, there was something really strange going on. Camera came and went off and on and microphones started to mess up and the recordings disappeared and the metal detector just messed up and it was mayhem. I got hurt, I got injured, I fell so many times, I really don't know what happened. And then I decided I wanted to go back with some wild cams. I did that, there were strange things appearing on the wild cams. I will put link for these videos in the video description under there where it says more you just click that and under there you can find this if you want to check them out you can see what it's all about but now I'm kind of going to go back because the first set of um, uh, wild cams would, or trail cams were just crap so it could have been some issues with that resulting all the kind of weird stuff coming up but now I got some really really good cameras and uh, I already have one placed out there and that's what I'm kind of looking for right now this forest here has been so crazy. That is a foxhole. You cannot see it, but that's a one-man fighting position. And in here, there are tons of foxholes and fighting positions. And I will put, at the end of this video, you can find some, um, find some uh, end cards. You can click on that. I'll put a couple of episodes from this forest there. You can watch them and check out this area. Um, so it's a strange place, but I'm here. Let, let, give me a second, I'll show you something. As you saw in these videos, uh, I've put some of these up earlier. They were crap, the other cameras. I now have two that is in very different shape and, and form and actually does what it's supposed to do, at least they say so. Um, I already, a couple of days ago, put the first camera up there and uh, then I managed to find the second one and I'm gonna go up there and put that up as well because there is something going on in here which I really cannot put my finger onto but there's been some weird stuff going on here when I been here earlier I just call this the haunted forest I don't believe in anything has got anything to do about ghosts or haunted but that's the only thing I could imagine that would be sufficient to call it. Nevertheless, this place is crazy. This is a mortar position that the Germans put up here. This is a advanced uh, position that the Germans installed to be able to take out the enemy. And then uh, down here, I'm not 100% sure whether that is the place where I found uh, the helmet. I found the helmet here, uh, some buckles, all of that. Uh, and so I'm so confused because this area is constantly changing. There's so many trees coming down and crashing and smashing up the terrain. So I'm kind of 
every time I come here, I'm very confused. Nevertheless, the camera is supposed to be over here because there's a huge dugout there. And I know it's over there. And uh, that's where the camera should have been. But the huge dugout is, is there and... Um, Okay, I'll, I'll go over there and uh, let's find the first camera. See here, this forest is just insanely wild. You see, all of these trees here has fallen down. And it's there are foxholes under here. There's a foxhole dog out here. And there's a huge dog out there where we think they had a pack gun. A Panzerabwehrkanon or Panzer uh, uh, gun to attacking uh, vehicles. But my cat, what is going on here? Where's the camera? Um, okay. Okay, oh, I'm gonna go over there. Oh my goodness, I was so scared. There's a massive noise coming off that thing. Uh, but there is something really, the camera was on that tree because this dugout here it's a complete trench system actually there's a huge position where we think they had a gun and the trench goes like over there and it goes over here and there are several positions that the germans had here but the camera is freaking gone i put it right there on that trunk what the heck The frick is the camera? That's like three days ago. What is going on here? Why the frick is that camera? Is it the wrong tree? Give me a few seconds. I'll go through some um, images on my phone here and check this out. Just behind there, there's another foxhole. You can see it right there. But I checked my camera. This, my camera, trail cam was right there. It's not here anymore. What the frick is going on here? Why is that being removed? Or who? Or what? Ah! Gotta be kidding me. This is the uh, dugout where we think there was a uh, anti uh, a pack gun. Oh my goodness. This forest is taking its revenge now. The camera is gone. Okay, give me a few seconds, guys. You know, this is actually not surprising, to be honest. This is the second gun position. It's like here. I wish all of the trees would have been gone so you can see that easier. There's another one tree that's fallen down there. All of the trees there has been flattened during the last two weeks it seems like why is that camera gone every time I come here I'm so stressed out because there's something going on every time every freaking time what am I now supposed to do I will not put up another camera here if people steals it I even put a note inside telling that the camera was in a science project and you can contact me if you find it blah 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 that actually was a hundred and some dollars. Crap. You might wonder why am I putting up these cams? Well, that's because, as I said, something weird happened on the cameras, the first ones, and that was so strange. Here you can see definitely, is this where I found, I think this is where I found the helmet. I think, now there's another tree that's come down here. I think this is where I found the helmet and all of that crap with the camera started and you know malfunctioning of the camera all of that and then let me see <sighs> oh, I'm so frustrated I'm so frustrated I was I, I haven't been able to come, come back here the last two years actually now this, the, the winter has gone or the snow is gone um, we are real time now. This is on a Sunday. Bunker Buster Girls video is going to be released later today. And then also I'm going to release my regular video after that. So don't go, so don't go away. Sunday, our day of releasing videos. And uh, it's going to be cool. <sighs> I think someone stole the camera. 
I definitely think someone stole the camera because there's no way that there could be an animal, anything doing that. Ah, oh, my goodness. Dead bird going on there. There's a foxhole here. There's a foxhole there. One man fighting position. And uh, when I recorded with the other cameras, which, which were just crap, the sound was coming in and out, but there were strange things going on. There were branches kind of moving around by itself. That's another foxhole. That's a one-man fighting position that the Germans built or had or dug out. But you know, there were so many weird things going on. I mean, really, really weird things. There were branches suddenly appearing. There were shadows, there were noises. Uh, there was something going on with some light, flashlight, whatever that was. So that is why I just desperately want to figure out what the heck is going on here. And now I don't even have that new camera. Oh, I've been all over. Absolutely all over here. This is ridiculous. And so now, definitely cannot put the camera up there. Someone will see it, steal it again. What a crappy thing to do. But you can see the trench systems here. There are so many trenches. Be Holy sh... That is a freaking camera. Can you see that? And where is the ribbon? That's my camera. Oh my God. Goodness, how did that end up there? Where's the ribbon holding it? There's a huge ribbon here, a gray ribbon. What is going on here? That's the note. I'm not going to let you see that. My information is there. But the SD cam, uh, the SD card is actually still there, but there is no power on it. So, oh my goodness, why? Is the ribbon been taken away? And why was that removed? Or well, who removed that? This is very, very strange if you ask me. We are back at the History Hunter crib. Um, this is, what I'm going to show you now is why I find this place very interesting. Okay, so first, all of that happened earlier and then the camera missing and then suddenly the camera is there. There's the second camera that was supposed to put up there. Um, really strange things going on again. First of all, that one was empty with batteries. The batteries in there were brand new. They were not used when I put that up just three days earlier. And then I checked the SD card. Guess what? There's nothing there. And then I found this one a bit further away. But let me show you what happened with the, some of the scenes, the last scenes, and you, then you can understand why I think there is something really strange going on here. So this is uh, what I mean. Let me show you this. I'm going to play this off just on the screen here. This is what's going on. The sound suddenly disappeared from the camera recordings. Hasn't done that for three months. And you can see it's getting wobbly and strange. And why did I want to show you this scene here? That is because that and that thin three, my picture shows when I put the camera up onto the trunk, these are standing upright. Why are they broken and stepped flat now? That is something that I really cannot understand. And why is the sound gone? Let me show you the next scene. So again, this scene is where I show you that the tree has been flattened. But what is going on with the image? It's like wobbly and strange and totally out of focus. Why is that so? And let me show you more what happens here. Four times, four times I fell on my butt. I never do that. Look here. Boom. I fell on my butt. Why? I never do that. And then suddenly the sound is gone. I was just so amazed, I just stood there and laughed to myself. But the sound is gone again, and the wobbly camera, why? And this scene here, that's where I actually discover the uh, ribbon that holds the camera, it was there. Again, sound is gone. 
What is happening here? There you go. The revenge of the haunted forest actually took place right there. I cannot explain what is happening here. Why, first of all, why is the camera laying around in the forest? Why is the uh, card empty? Why are the batteries kind of drained completely? They were brand new. And why is this laying like 50 meters away? And it's just the same thing over and over again. This place here is just killing me. I, I want to get to the bottom of this. And you can see, this is where I kind of wanted to surveil the uh, area here. And the camera was on that trunk. The last time, I think the camera was here or something. Strange things are happening for sure. And I really want to get to the bottom of this. But I need your help, guys. Can you tell me, what do I do to make these disappear out in the forest? Should I buy some camouflage canvas stuff or should I make a box for them and then put them on top of a tree or on the next to a tree? I'm, I don't want these, they cost me more than $250. They're very good actually, but so far I haven't been able to test them out. And um, this one I was supposed to put out there. And let me show you how stupid this is. Uh, see here? I went out without batteries, without an SD card. I never forget stuff like that, but somehow I forgot it here. So even if that would have been operational, I wouldn't have had batteries or a memory card. So ah, it's frustrating, but help me out guys. What do I do to really uh, get some good ideas to camouflage these so that nobody will see them because I desperately need to find out more about this place. I definitely, definitely need to find out more and I'm hoping for your response in the comments to help me to figure out what should I do. But nevertheless, these cameras here, I'm hoping that they will tell us more about this place. As I said, I don't believe in ghosts or haunted or anything like that. But for me, it's the closest words I could use because I really don't understand it. Why did I fell on my butt four times? Why did the camera lose uh, suddenly the sounds? Why did my telephone lock up again? I don't know why that happened the last time as well. I was supposed to take some really good JPEG video, uh, photos and it's locked up, I had to restart the, the phone. I didn't think about it then, but that's exactly the same thing that happened last time I was there. So, ah, oh, frustrating, frustrating, but I'm definitely gonna work hard to put these up again. And we're gonna go, come to the bottom and see who is either playing with us here, doing some scam with us or whatever, or what is actually happening. I really don't know. All right, I'll be back soon. Don't forget to check out Bunker Buster Gold's uh, YouTube channel. It would be a great honor if you subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified. You have to allow all the notifications to come through to figure it out there on the menus. And then if you leave a comment, a thumbs up or heart, I think she would be greatly, greatly happy for that. And I can promise you some of the things that she does as an explorer are just out of this world and being a girl, out there alone in the way that she is, uh, compared to all the boys out doing the same stuff. I'm so, so, so proud of her. So check her out and uh, say hello from us. All right, thank you everybody. We'll definitely see you out uh, later. Stay safe, keep smiling. And remember, you will find these end cards here. These are the end cards which you can click on to see the different episodes of the Haunted Forest there. And I will also put a link for these videos in the video description and you find her channel there in the video description as well. All right, thank you everybody, stay safe, keep smiling and see you later.